What if I told you that you can now generate consistent, high-quality videos up to one minute long without any quality loss or character drift? In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Stable Video Infinity with Comfy UI to create professional-looking videos perfect for your shorts, reels, and TikTok content. We'll walk through the entire workflow step by step, from setup to final render, and I'll even share a secret prompt that automatically generates all your video prompts for you. Let's dive in. Okay, when you open this workflow for the first time, you may notice some missing custom nodes that need to be installed using the Comfy Manager. You'll also need to update to the latest One Video Wrapper node by Kijai. I want to give a big shout out to GitHub user Rune Gjerd for creating this workflow as all credits go to him for this incredible setup. In the video resources, you'll find links to the Stable Video Infinity discussion thread, which contains tons of valuable information and user tests, along with the latest updates from the project by Vita EPFL, the team behind the Stable Video Infinity Loris. Let's start by understanding what Stable Video Infinity actually does. SVI adds special LoRa adapters to WAN 2.1 that allow you to generate videos of any length without the usual problems of quality degradation or the video drifting away from your original concept. Think of it as teaching the AI to fix its own mistakes as it creates longer videos, maintaining consistency throughout the entire generation. For realistic videos, there are two main LoRa options you should know about. SVI Shot is perfect when you want one consistent scene with a single text prompt, like a long nature shot or a person walking. It stays stable for up to 20 minutes of video. On the other hand, SVI Film Opt is better suited for creating multi-scene videos where you provide different text prompts every five seconds, allowing you to tell a story with smooth transitions between scenes, similar to a short film. Both are lightweight add-ons that don't require retraining the entire model, making it remarkably easy to create professional-looking, extended videos that would normally fall apart or look strange after just a few seconds. Now let's examine the models group in our workflow. You'll need the WAN 2.1 video model. I'm using the 480 PFP8 version, which is perfect for GPUs with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. However, if you have 16 gigabytes or less, you'll need to use the GGUF quantized version instead. The first LoRa is the LightX 2V LoRa, which speeds up the generation process significantly. The second is our main SVI shot LoRa. The third one is optional, but it can make a huge difference in your output quality. It's called the MPS LoRa, which stands for Motion Prediction Score. This is a reward-based enhancement for WAN 2.1 that fine-tunes the model to better align with human preferences for video quality. It uses a technique called Reward Back Propagation, which essentially trains the AI to optimize videos based on what people actually prefer to see, improving aspects like visual appeal, coherence, and overall quality. The last one is the WAN Animate Relight LoRa, which helps preserve the lighting across multiple generations. This is also optional, and you can bypass it if you prefer. Of course, we need our clip text encoder. I'm using the FP8 version, along with the WAN 2.1 VAE BF16 version. I've added all the download links for these models in the note here, along with information about where each model should be placed in your Comfy UI folder. You'll find a link below to access all the video resources completely free. Now let's focus on how the workflow actually operates. You input an image and a set of prompts and you'll get a long 20 second video, just like this one. Here's what really happens behind the scenes. When you input the image, it first gets resized and sent to the one video image encoder. You have control over several inputs like the width and height of the output video. However, what I strongly recommend is sticking to 480 by 832 pixels. You can switch the width and height if you want a landscape or vertical orientation. The number of frames should always be set to 81 frames. This is the optimal number of frames that WAN 2.1 can generate without any issues or inconsistencies. Now, the motion frame setting is important. Here's why. 
Each SVI LoRa uses a different number of last frames to achieve the best results. For example, SVI Film LoRa needs five last frames to perform optimally. However, SVI Shot only needs one last frame. The loop count determines how many 81 frame videos you'd like to generate. In this workflow, it can't exceed more than four loops, so in total you'll generate approximately a 20 second video, which is an ideal duration for your shorts, reels, and TikTok videos. Now let's move to the prompts section. You have your first 81 frame prompt here. Your prompts should briefly describe the person in the image, then proceed with a small first action or movement the person should perform. For our example here, we're going to have the person make a toast inside this luxurious private jet. You can describe the atmosphere and lighting a bit, but please don't overload your prompts, especially with video models where simplicity often works better. Next, on the right, you'll see additional prompts we can call travel prompts. From top to bottom, we're going to define what happens in the next five seconds of the video, including what movements, actions, and facial expressions the character should perform. Since we're generating a loop of four, you need to add four travel prompts. Don't worry about writing these prompts manually. Keep watching, because I'm going to share a prompt you can use with perplexity, along with your image, to automatically generate one main prompt and four travel prompts, ready to use without the hassle of thinking about the movements and actions yourself. The next group is where all the remaining videos will be generated and stitched together to create the full 20-second video. You also have the ability to add audio, like music or sound effects, at the end. As you can see, we generated our first video, then created the remaining four videos to continue from the last frame, forming a longer video that follows our prompts seamlessly. Now let's move to another example with a new image. This time, we'll monitor the real-time generation to see how much time it takes to generate all the videos. I'm going to replace the first prompt and the travel prompts to make this character perform a multiple small actions like a peace sign, forming a heart shape with her hands, and then we'll control the camera movement to zoom in and zoom out gently. After loading the input image and adding our prompts, we can now generate our video. In the back end, as you can see in the logs, we're generating the first video. It takes 1 minute and 28 seconds to generate the first 81 frames. I'm using an RTX 5090 with 64 gigabytes of system RAM. However, this workflow only uses 17 gigabytes of VRAM, as you can see here. With a quantized WAN 2.1 model like Q4 and a quantized text encoder, you can lower VRAM consumption below 12 gigabytes. If you don't have a powerful local machine, you can use my custom RunPod script to install Comfy UI with all the custom nodes and models and run the workflow on a cloud GPU in the most cost-effective way possible. Again, all resources are available on my website and you can access everything for free. Basically, you'll need four more videos, and each takes about two minutes to generate. The entire video will take approximately 10 minutes to produce a 20-second clip, which is quite impressive when you consider the quality you're getting. Now here's the result. Let me show you how you can generate the main prompt and all the travel prompts using a custom-made prompt and your input image only. All you have to do is go to Perplexity, load your image, and paste our custom prompt. That's it. You'll get five ready-to-use prompts instantly. Copy all the prompts, load your image into the workflow, and click Generate.
Now, let's compare the same image to video output but with different LoRa's. We used the SVI Shot LoRa versus the SVI Opt Film LoRa that requires 5 last frames instead of 1. Notice the differences in how the scenes transition and maintain consistency. If you've watched my previous videos, you know I always focus heavily on character consistency in both image generation and video generation. Using the SVI LoRa alone isn't enough to maintain 100% character consistency across all your generated videos. However, if you have a WAN 2.1 character LoRa that you've trained, when you add it alongside Light X 2V and SVI LoRa, you'll achieve 100% character consistency even across all the generated video segments. Also, if you notice your videos playing in slow motion, you can use frame interpolation to smooth the frames and speed up the video while still maintaining a natural look. If you want to learn more about Comfy UI and creating AI influencers, we have our latest 2025 course that teaches you exactly that, along with an amazing Discord community to help you throughout the process. Visit the link in the description below to learn more. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave a comment. See you in the next one.